everybody benefits and it pays for itself in that way. What? Which part? <laughs> boy, 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 boy. And y'all just think she was saying something, huh? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I am Ty Smith. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content, and I really do hope you guys are all doing well. Make sure you follow me on the platforms you see above and the ones below. And also, if you like the content that I put out in regards to this political commentary stuff, make sure you click that thumbs up button so that this can be circulated in YouTube algorithm. And it also keeps my content consistently being recommended to you. And last but not least, Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you think you are subscribed, you might want to double check because YouTube will unsubscribe you, especially in times like this where we are bringing truth and the heat and exposing all this nonsense. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get ready to get to this. Kamala Harris finally came out and took some questions from the press and she answered them live. And this is one of those times where we said this is what we've been waiting on. This is the moment that we've been waiting on to where you get some questions asked to you and then you answer those questions and you should be able to answer in the most basic way that most of us should be able to understand exactly what it is that you're saying, right? Wrong. I don't know. And don't, and you're not going to be able to insult my intelligence. I'll show you. Matter of fact, before I say that, check this out. It's an extraordinary testament to the importance of having a president who understands the power of diplomacy and understands the strength that rests in understanding the significance of diplomacy and strengthening alliances. This is, this is an incredible day. Bringing everyone along in that. Can you explain how you're going to pay for those and can you give us a sense of what other policies you want to unveil going forward? Sure. Well, I mean, you just look at it in terms of what we are talking about, for example, around children and the child tax credit and extending the EITC. That is it's at $6,000 for the first year of a child's life. The return on that investment in terms of what that will do and what it will pay for will be tremendous. We've seen it when we did it in the first year of our administration. We reduced, we reduced child poverty by over 50%. So that's a lot of the work. And then what we're doing in terms of the tax credits, we know that there's a great return on that investment. When we increase home ownership in America, what that means in terms of increasing the tax base, not to mention property tax base, what that does to fund schools, again, return on investment. I think it's a mistake for any person who talks about public policy to not critically evaluate how you measure the return on investment. When you are strengthening neighborhoods, strengthening communities, and in particular the economy of those communities, and investing in a broad-based economy, Everybody benefits, and it pays for itself in that way. So for all you smart people, what did she say? What did she say? What did she say? What I was getting ready to say is don't sit there and think that my intelligence is going to be insulted because Kamala Harris didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. You should be able to speak and say things in such a easy-to-understand way that we go, oh, okay, we see. What the heck was that? What in the world? So what we're gonna do is that we gonna take the we take the things that come before they are and we put those things in place. And what this is gonna do is gonna stimulate the growth of home ownership. And when we get those people in home ownership, the neighborhood becomes better. And as it becomes better, people begin to get better equipment, which means they're going out buying things to take care of their homes, like their grass. And when they do that, it helps Home Depot and Lowe's and Menards get their equipment sold and in doing so what it does as well it upbrings the property value for those that want to keep their grass cut and in doing what the heck are you talking about what are you <laughs> what are you talking about you should be able to break something down like what trump said when we drill and we become self-efficient self self-sufficient with energy that right there is going to cause energy prices to go down. When energy prices go down, that means there's going to be more money in your pocket, which means you're going to be saving, which means it's going to impact other, other avenues. Of, that should be easily explained. It should be easily broken down. If you were to get with me as a director right now and you say, looking at things right now, 
what is a way that you're going to be able to save? Like whenever I go and pick up new buildings, they say, what ways are you going to be able to save money for foreign? I'll tell them breaking off from the beginning. Well, first of all, I can already tell you that in the market right now, it's a good chance that you guys are being charged this for the contract you guys have with the current company, right? Now, what I'm saying to you guys is not only that, but when I get these people to come in, we will be able to bring y'all more revenue. How? It's because whenever somebody do come new to your building, I'm going to make sure that they're taken care of within 24 to 48 hours. In fact, I have it set up to where the day they get in, we can already have a clinician seeing them already when they get in there you guys let me know who's coming in the pipeline and when you email me or when you call me let me know i would already have people that's in that area on standby to where you guys tell me they're going to be there at 1 30 i guarantee i'm going to have a clinician in there at two o'clock to get them eval to get everything done to have everybody go by and introduce them boom and in doing so, we will make sure that if they are, you know, med if they are Medicare, Med A, whatever like that, we will make sure that all this stuff will be taken care of. That way you guys can get the ARD by the fifth day. We don't need it. I want to get it by five. I know traditionally you guys get it in eight, but I want it by five. Now, I know y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but the people that's in medicine do. See what I'm saying? That's how we would operate. But when you're just talking about how you're going to stimulate the economy and how you're going to get all this stuff done, and you come out saying a bunch of bullcrap word salad that don't nobody eat. Come on now. You should just, I mean, get, get, what? I, I know, I know, I guess I'm not that smart. I, 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 I don't understand. I don't understand stupid speech. Thank God our president is in good shape and good health and is ready to lead in our second term. The president is in good health. He is in, he's, he's very active. You see it for yourself with your own eyes. Joe Biden is going to be fine. And let me tell you something. I work with Joe Biden every day. The work that under Joe Biden's leadership, our administration has accomplished is transformative. I see his vigor, I see his energy, I see his passion. So the way that the president's demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated. Not debate, but discuss it with him. He's right there. Because Joe Biden is very much alive and running for re-election. Uh-huh. Y'all forgot about that, didn't y'all? Huh? Look, look, look at all that line they did. Oh, he's well. Oh, he's great. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. He'll be ready. Oh, you, you watch and see. I talked to him and he is he is as uh, he's as sharp as a as a as a tack. He he's as sharp as a oh I talk. Oh, I Gavin Newsom. Oh, I I I I go to him for advice. And then even Karine GPL. Oh, you should see him. World leaders call him to get his advice. If they are lying about something like that, what makes y'all think that they know what they're talking about when they come? You know what? Ah, boy, 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 boy. This is one of the most insane elementary things I have ever seen when it comes to somebody in these high positions. We, y'all, got played. Y'all got played like a ukulele. Clink, 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 clink. Played y'all like a ukulele. Got two of the most. I don't even know how to even just begin to even come up with the terminology for how President Biden was and how Kamala Harris is when it comes to their cognition, when it comes to their speech, when they talk. The amount of bull crap that can just flow out that makes no sense. And then at the same time, for you guys just to see the clip that I just showed you, how they made it out like Biden was fine, and y'all fell for it. So all I'm saying that for is this. The media right now is controlling everything, and the media is the enemy. The, in, the, the god dang on enemy right now is telling you guys Kamala Harris is going to bring glory. She's going to bring this. She's up here telling you guys how she's going to lower the taxes and do all this and do all that. When she hasn't done it in three and a half years, and y'all still going to say, but she going to do it this time. Idiots. 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 And yet y'all keep on rephrasing things. Doing the same thing over and over again is the definition of insanity when you keep doing the same thing over again and keep getting the same results. Y'all have President Biden and Kamala Harris. Look at these results. And y'all want to do it again. Uh -huh. You had President Trump before. Look at those results. Why aren't you doing that again? I want the President Trump type of insanity when everybody was flourishing and prospering well. That's what I want. What about you? Huh? What about you? What do you want? We just want a woman in there. Are you mad? Okay. I don't want them to win, y'all. I really, I, I hope President Trump win all for the sake of, so we can have a prosperous nation. But I tell you what. If they pull this crap off again, this obvious, this, this is no way, no way that she should be able to win. But if she does win and whatever comes with that, and y'all think we in hell right now, whatever comes with that, you know what I'm going to be here to do, to rub it in. And I'm not going to have no sympathy for you or anything like that. But I don't think she's going to win. We'll see. What do y'all think? 
What do you think about all this nonsense y'all just got done seeing? Make sure y'all let me know by doing this right here. Hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment at the bottom, all right? Moving on to the next one, folks. I am Ty Smith, model renaissance man, and I hope and pray that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.